find the product of all the rational roots of following equation. Now, this is a relatively easy problem from quadratic equations. Although the given equation is not a quadratic equation, it is a polynomial equation of fourth degree, a biquadratic equation. But by doing some suitable substitution, we can convert it into a quadratic equation. Here, if you notice, the first term has x square minus 9x plus 11 square. And if we multiply these two terms, then we will get x square minus 9x plus 20. So, therefore, in place of x square minus 9x, we can substitute some other variable. So, let us say x square minus 9x is alpha. If we replace x square minus 9x with alpha, then the given equation will be alpha plus 11 square minus and then x square minus 9x that we can write as alpha. So, the second term will be alpha plus 20 this equals to 3 and after simplifying you will get alpha square plus 21 alpha plus 98 equals to 0. By splitting the middle terms you can easily get the factors. Here the factors will be alpha plus 7 and alpha plus 14. So, therefore the roots are minus 7 and minus 14. So, these are the two values of alpha that we are getting and if alpha is minus 7, x square minus 9x that will be minus 7. So, that means x square minus 9x plus 7 this will be 0. And for this equation, the discriminant is not a perfect square. The discriminant will be 81 minus 28. So, that is 53, which is not a perfect square. So, therefore, we will get irrational values of x in this case. Remember that we have to find product of all the rational roots. We are not getting any rational root in this first case. So, now let us consider the second case. If x square minus 9x is minus 14, so that means x square minus 9x plus 14, this will be 0. And from here, we are getting two rational values of x. By splitting the middle term, the factors will be x minus 2 and x minus 7. So, the roots are 2 and 7. So, these are the only two rational values of x that will satisfy this equation. We have to find product of all the rational roots. So, here the product will be 2 into 7, which is 14. So, that is the correct answer for this problem.